started off with a four by four that is three feet in height. Grab some kind of a base. I'm just using a Dollar Tree planter. Place it on top of my four by four and drilled a hole. Make sure you're drilling through to the wood as well. And then I just used a screw to attach these two together. I then grabbed another piece of wood measured at two and a half inches by 18, drilled a hole on one of the sides, placed it on the back of my four by four and drilled another hole to make sure that it goes through to that four by four and then just screwed those together. This project is super top heavy, so you wanna make sure that you add something heavy inside of your planter. I just added in some concrete. And then drill another hole in the middle of the smaller piece of wood, and I just attached it using some metal hooks. And then I hung this sign that I got from Dollar Tree, and then just began spray painting the entire piece with some black spray paints and allow that to dry. I got this candy dish from Dollar Tree, Place it on top of my four by four, drilled three holes, and then I just used some more screws to hold that into place. And then I had gotten these skeleton hands from Dollar Tree and I thought it would be super cool to make it look like it's holding up the candy dish. So I found a good placement for it. I didn't use any hot glue, but all I did was just zip tie it to the candy dish and just make sure you have it as tight as it'll go, but be careful because that candy dish is a little fragile, so just be wary of that. But I did end up using three zip ties for this just to make sure it's nice and secure. Then I just started adding some creepy cloth all around it, and you could hot glue this in place. I had my stapler, so just make sure that you have it drooping all around. There is no right or wrong way to do this, but just as you're draping it, just secure it into place, like I said, with either hot glue or a stapler. And then inside of the planter, I ended up placing another one of those skeleton hands in some floral foam and just stuck it in there. Add some tissue paper or grocery bags inside of it to act as a filler, and then just placed in some Spanish moss. And then I placed in a skull which I think came out looking super cool because he looks like he's coming out of the ground. And then just put some candy inside of your candy dish and you are all ready for your trick-or-treaters. I hope this inspired you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so much and I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks, bye!